Today is Remembrance Sunday and normally I would be with members of our brigade company in Victoria Park in Tipton taking part in the Tipton service of remembrance. But of course that's been cancelled as have so many Remembrance Day events around the country today. But it's still important that we take time to stop and remember. And we do that not to glorify war, but to give grateful thanks for those who have given their lives or suffered horrendous injuries in conflict through World War I, World War II and many other conflicts since. Those who have died or been injured in order that we might enjoy a peace and a freedom which might have been so different. And so we do that. We pause and we say thank you. And at the same time, we also uh, remember the ultimate sacrifice made by our Lord Jesus Christ, that we might know that perfect and ultimate freedom and forgiveness. And we remind ourselves of those words from uh, Philippians chapter 2, where Paul writes, Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. So as we pause uh, this morning, we're going to hear uh, a new remembrance hymn and then we're going to share a minute's silence together after which we'll listen to a short poem. Let's take time to remember.
If I should die, think only this. A bullet flew by that did not miss. What story of the war is told? Romance bright or horror cold? Triumph's tale or tragic loss? The iron or the wooden cross? Lost lament or victor's boast? Full brass band or lone last post? Heroes, villains, cowards, kings, it's war. It's all these things. It's us, unleashed for good and ill. The gallant heart, the savage will. A Kaiser's pride, a nation's fear, a global greed, it's all in here. What causes war, the old book asks. Beyond the history, beneath the masks, begins a want, becomes a will, demands its way, prepares to kill. The wars we mark as long ago are close to home. They're all we know. What ceases war, the pressing question? What can halt inborn aggression? To end all wars and retribution, war itself is no solution. Can terror end all terror now? Brute force subdue itself and bow? Can darkness drive out darkened dread? Or death extinguish death instead? We need to interrupt the spiral. Find the anti-retroviral. The story is told of anti-Zeus, a god of peace made human truce. Into our world, into our midst, a walking, talking armistice. A king now meek, his power made weak, to stand and turn the other cheek. To take the blow, absorb disgrace, then rise to give again his face in grace undimmed and arms unfurled. To bless and pacify the world. And you, to sweet surrender brought, forgiveness for your battles fought, peace to pass to every soul, then warfare ceased from pole to pole.